Hey everyone, welcome back to my Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create a Python program, that will give weather of given location. Please take a moment to like this video, and subscribe to this channel. It's free. Take a note that, by weather, I mean the temperature of given place. So, without any further delay, let's get started. In this tutorial, we are going to use two Python libraries, requests, and beautiful soup4. Requests library allows you to send HTTP or 1.1 requests extremely easily. It is similar to what your browser sends while connecting to a web page to the web server. Beautiful soup is a library that makes it easy to scrape information from web pages. It sits on top of an HTML or XML parser, making it easy for iterating, searching, and modifying the parse tree. In order to use them, we need to install them. Open command prompt window, and type pip install requests, then hit enter, or return. Do the same thing for beautiful soup 4. Type pip install beautiful soup 4. Then hit enter or return. Now, as we've set up these libraries, you are good to follow along. First of all, we will import these libraries. Type import requests. Then, on next line, type from BS4 import beautiful soup. Now, we will ask user, the place, they want to find weather of. To do that, we will declare a variable that will, ask the user and, hold the input, from the user. I am naming this variable, as place. We will declare, another variable, that will hold the search query. Our search query will be, the weather of given place. I am naming this variable, as search. Now, we will hold the URL for our query, in a variable. The URL is similar to, what the address bar shows, in a browser, when you search on Google. Make sure, your URL matches with mine. I have used fstring literal method, in these two lines. Now, we will load the search results, for our query, and store it in a variable. This is where, the use of requests library comes in. We will use, requests, dot get method. Now, we will use beautiful soup, to scrap through our results, using HTML parser. Here, I am using, dot text, so that our results are treated as text instead of objects.
Now, we will find the weather information, from our search results, and store it in variable. For your simplicity, I've already found the div class, which holds the required info. Here, we will be again using .text, since we want our result in text. Time to print our result. The update variable here, holds the weather info. So, we need to print value of the update variable. Let's, save our file. Now I will show you, the output of our program. Perfect. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you would have liked it. Please take a moment to drop a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. See you in next tutorial, till then, happy coding.